Le café du Burundi, c'est un café assez impressionnant parce que tu peux le boire même sans sucre et il sera toujours sucré. Vous aimez le café ah, J'adore le café. J'adore le café. Est-ce que vous aimez le café Eh oui, j'adore le café. Ouais, j'aime beaucoup le café. Burundi, a country of wonderful landscapes, soaring mountains, and a breathtaking wildlife. Endowed with some of the most ideal conditions for coffee production, the coffee sector provides jobs for more than 800,000 households. Yet about three quarters of the Burundian population still live on half a dollar per day. But things are changing. Emerging from years of economic instability, the local population is working hard to help Burundi ascend as a significant player in global markets a journey which the country is not undertaking alone. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization has been invited by local authorities to strengthen Burundi's regional and international trade ties. In 2012, a project was launched with the funds of Norway and the Enhanced Integrated Framework, EIF, a multi-donor trust fund that helps the least developed countries to tackle supply-side constraints to global trade. The project aims to introduce international quality standards and strengthen local institutions to allow for local producers of the world's best coffee to be certified for worldwide sale. It will also open the door for exports for many other local products and promote sustainable industrial development within a socially inclusive framework, changing the lives of many Burundian families. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and we are visiting Chantal, who is saying goodbye to her family. Her kids are rushing off to school, and she is about to take us to her coffee plantation. Chantal is the first woman in Burundi to run a small coffee business and a role model for the entire community. The success she has, she does not keep for herself. Every year, she hires more than 200 vulnerable women to work with her, so they too can build a home and improve their children's lives by providing them with a good education. I wanted to encourage these women, especially those who are very vulnerable in the culture of café, because in Burundi, the culture of café is very good, which gives us a lot of money. On s'habille bien, on mange bien lorsqu'on a cultivé du café. Chantal's coffee is internationally certified, and leading coffee chains are buying from her. This is a big achievement, as the road to assuring quality and finding international buyers is a long and challenging one. With a population of only 9.8 million, Burundi is among the smallest coffee-producing countries in East Africa. This also means that in terms of quantity, the country cannot compete with big coffee suppliers from Latin America or Southeast Asia. But there is a niche which promises success. Specialty, high quality coffee. The advantage? Contrary to regular coffee, which suffers from volatile price changes due to fluctuations in offer and demand, specialty coffee prices are unaffected by New York's coffee price index. But producing high quality coffee requires knowledge of standards, know-how, the application of best practices, and technology to locally check compliance. Through the program, coffee actors along the value chain like Chantal improve their quality systems and harvesting techniques, learn how to wash and select coffee beans more efficiently, and how to operate and apply higher social and environmental standards. In addition, trainings on different coffee testing techniques are organized, and Chantal learns how to get the most out of her best coffee beans. The project also supports the formation of consortia and associations. 
While some years ago everybody in the community used to sell coffee under his own brand, now competition has given way to cooperation. By teaming up and working together, coffee producers can guarantee the quality and the sufficient quantities of specialized coffee for international buyers. In 2012, UNIDO, in collaboration with the Norwegian government and the Enhanced Integrated Framework, EIF, identified six laboratories to receive high-tech equipment and trainings and improve the accuracy and reliability of their test results. Burundi has the tools and know-how to scientifically analyze products on a chemical and microbiological level, a prerequisite for export. For an operator of a station of lavage of coffee, this laboratory is important because, uh, in function of the results of the analysis that we can do of these echantillons, we can advise him on the way to effectuate much more correctly the uh, lavage of his coffee. So, if the operations of the start are done correctly, this contributes to guarantee the good quality of the product at the end of the chain. With the upgraded laboratories serving the coffee value chain, the newly gained knowledge on the application of international standards, Chantal is looking forward to this year's Cup of Excellence, an internationally renowned competition of fine quality coffee, whose winner gets international exposure as best coffee producer in the world. We will participate in the Cup of Excellence 2014. Et si je parviens à être classé parmi les, les 10 premiers ou les 20 premiers, donc on a l'honneur partout dans le monde entier. Et notre café sera propagé partout dans le monde et sera agréé par tous les acheteurs du monde entier. Toutes les, évo les évolutions qu'il y a eu, ça nous mène vers un, un avenir prometteur pour le secteur du café au Burundi. Déjà, quand je regarde dix ans derrière, notre café n'était pas assez connu. Maintenant, on peut retrouver du café du Burundi au Japon, on peut retrouver du café du Burundi aux États-Unis, en Autriche, partout où vous voulez. Donc, si nous, continue, nous continuons avec cet élan, je pense que d'ici dix ans, même d'ici cinq ans, on sera beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup plus loin. To me personally, coffee means almost everything. Our society changer, like a positive changer to everyone in the country.